Hello, connoisseurs. Welcome to The Mob. This is Marcus Onesimus Boston. I'm your black, blessed, and highly favored host of Tonya Corner, the podcast with real conversations with real people about love, sex, and relationships, all fueled by cognac. You are a few moments away from the hearing of the newest episode, but don't forget to get our past episodes and merch from CognacCorner.com. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcast from. Also, follow me on all socials at Mo Boston 314 Again, that's M-O Boston 314 Now, pour yourself a glass and enjoy the show. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies and everything in between. Um, this is shit. This is, this is Kanye Corner. Corner with uh, Marcus Lodesmith Boston. This is the podcast with real conversation with real people about love, sex, and relationships, all fueled by this week's cognac, which is again Ciroc's brandy. This is a cognac. It's, that's what it is. Delicious. <laughs> mm. Oh, my God. Mm. oh, yeah. Uh. I'm going to get drunk too quickly if I don't. All right. That down a little bit. <laughs> this is uh, I Am Podcast, probably a podcast daddy. Welcome to the mob. You can find me at cognaccorner.com. Um, that is me. This is where you at. And today we have a new connoisseur to the corner. Could you please say that name? Say your name, please, man. Lady Belladonna. Round of applause. <laughs> I don't know how I get myself one. <laughs> How's how's it going, lady? It's going good. Things are going good these days. Finally. Yeah, yeah round of applause for things going good. Yes. Finally, things are looking up. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. Um, we would like to open up Calling Out Corner with a game segment called 60 Shots. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> brought to you by Big Stew Films. By Find Big Stew Films at BigStewFilms.com. Find them at Big Stew Films and Studio on the gram. And Facebook, this is 60 Shots brought to you by Big Stew Films. All right, are you ready? Uh, what is it? What what am I what this am I ready is, for? It, this is a question where it's either one or the other. Okay. All right. Most compatible, least compatible zodiac sign of mine. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, as, as a as a as a spouse, as a mate. My most compatible, it, what I'm told, I don't know if that's actually even true, is like Leo, and um, my least compatible is apparently Virgo, and I would have to agree with that. That's wow. Well then, well, so that is is Leo is your best. I hate. I hate. I don't know. I don't hate no certain signs. I don't know. I haven't met a Leo yet that I've vibed with. Leos, Aquariuses. Uh, there's a few that I'm supposed to be good with, and I have not met one. <laughs> like, I don't think I vibe with anybody. Mm, mm. But me. <laughs> now we on to something. Now we just on to something, baby. Baby. We have hit. Now, now we now I we potting. love myself. Now we potting. Now we potting, baby. Now we podcast. Now we got it. <laughs> Pulling up from three. All right. Quickie in the car and the bathroom. The the car for sure. Well, yeah, that's 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 um that's my first car, I think. I think it's my first car. I don't know. Really? I've only had a question on for like a couple of weeks, so I think. <laughs> People would rather have a quickie in the bathroom? Yeah, because you get to get more, more, more room to move around. If, if There's a lot of germs in the bathroom. <laughs> we're, we're in the age of a pandemic. I think we need to be thinking about that these days. There's no germs in your car. I mean, there probably are, but not pandemic germs. <laughs> Um, wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have a very good point. Mm-hmm. Very good point. Um, <laughs> beach or mountains? Definitely the beach. Although I love both. That's a hard choice. Beach, though. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk sex or high sex? High sex. Virgin or porn star? Virgin or porn star? Yeah. 
If you had to choose one. Whether I wanted to be one? No, if you had to choose one, do you want to be with a virgin or oh. you want to be with a porn star? Oh, a porn star. <laughs> <laughs> she said a level of disgust, like, ugh, I don't know, motherfucker. I mean, nobody wanna... wants a one pump chump in their lives. Nobody wants that. I was married to one for eight years. I don't need that again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have my sound effects to Wi Fi down. <laughs> damn it. Oh, damn. I ain't, got, I ain't got no sounds in this boy. God damn it. <laughs> that was no. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, he's just you're just breath hoping to find the trash. right thing. Wow, that's that's like a one pump chunk hit, hit song right there. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. <laughs> I got me somebody to laugh at all my jokes. I got a button. <laughs> uh, finally, I'm finally. forever funny. <laughs> uh, Cardi B and Nikki. Mm. That's hard. Cardi B. I, I love Cardi B. I love her. We yeah. talked about this earlier. I didn't talk about nothing earlier. We did. Why, as you tell. We did. I did not. I would never do such a thing. Not Why? on this earth. He's such a liar. I don't, I don't got to earth. He I'm is. not Beyonce's earth. Mm, I love Bay. See? We were talking about this song. Certified free. Seven days a week. Whoa, that's aggressive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's enough of that fucking shut down. Blunts or joints? Mm. Joints. White liquor or dark liquor? Dark liquor. Condoms or playing bees? Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that to your body too much. <laughs> God knows what we're doing to ourselves. <laughs> God, <I mean. laughs> oh God. That's an easy one. <laughs> but thank the Lord for plan B. <laughs> oh man. This all has to mean something. It has to mean something sometime at some point. This is too fascinating. Um, hmm. favorite position. We we talked about this. I don't. I wasn't. If it wasn't, I don't have it recorded, so I don't know what we talked about beforehand. Uh, oh, you, do we? I called you last week, didn't you? I? Did oh shit! I forgot. Well, this is a different show. This uh, this ain't about. This is about you now. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, the reverse cowgirl. <laughs> RJ got so excited. That's what I, I know he really did. He really did. He was like, "Oh, that's, that's his shit." Oh my god. <laughs> Why do I know this? I asked you. I asked some nosy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm even gonna call RJ stinking ass right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got in my phone is uh, RJ trifling ass. What do you have me in your phone? Is That's, it's, don't ask. Don't ask questions like that. Mm. I hope it's just my name. I hope it is too. <laughs> Uh, Jay, this is uh, Marcus Odessa's Boston from the uh, best podcast in the world, Tony at Corner. Uh, we're calling you. Hi, RJ. <laughs> hey, hey, what was that? That's Brittany. Why you sound like you sleep? What the fuck you doing? Nah, I've already been drunk and eight, and you know, just laying on the couch drunk. now. RJ, seven thirty. Uh, RJ be out here. He be drunk and sleep by seven thirty-five. Please believe me. <laughs> <laughs> He's the happy hour king. Cap on the boat. Man, listen. You got to get in where you fit in. I get out to work at 2.30. I got to hit the happy hour. Damn. Oh, man. We called you because we were talking about how excited you were when uh, Brittany last week when you was hosting. Uh, when you said recurse, reverse cowgirl. I was like, oh, RJ got excited. That's his shit. It's nasty ass. Wait now, so so wait a minute. So now she's there. Yeah. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's the bullshit. And you know what? I, I fucking I I dropped my homeboy off in in Sulard, and I said, 
no, nah, I'm going to go the other way around so I can not go to Big Daddy's because I know damn well if I drove by there, I was going to stop. <laughs> and I... <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> he got a whole story. I'm, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> so is Darren. No, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> We were talking about yeah. how I saved his life. I am not. We don't. We don't need to. We don't well, need yes, to, we are. We not. We're going to talk about that. it. Not. I saved his life. I'm going to end that whole thing. Out. Nope, nope. I saved his life, and he's just ruining it. Uh, <laughs> that is over. That's over almost two years. That's not even I don't love me. It don't. It don't matter. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about RJ. Yeah, that, that's that's yeah, just right. what we see. Right. That's the physical evidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It don't matter. We know it was there. We know that that happened. So guess what? Man, I have I've been to a lot of cognac. Yeah, forever in debt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Cognac sounds fire as shit. Y'all make me want to get out of bed and, and get off of this couch and come back down there. <laughs> Benny said, hell no, nah, nigga, stay your ass at home. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about you. No, I think she told me to bring some more cognac. That's what she said. <laughs> bring, another, bring another bottle. <laughs> right, I'm the captain of the boat, black of all trades. <laughs> toot toot. I pop up on y'all last like, dang. <laughs> 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 I'm the captain yeah, now. Leave it alone. <laughs> uh, leave it alone, damn it. Oh, <laughs> All right, RJ, you stay your ass on that couch. Don't you show up at this goddamn studio? I've already <laughs> won security. <laughs> security. <laughs> You're lucky. You're lucky. I gotta be up at four a.m. Good guy. Hey man. Hey man. Good you and you lucky. I- I'm lucky. Yeah. yeah. So. Thank God, I am a, a lucky person. God, a smile. No, you ain't lucky, sweetheart. <laughs> Basically, you, you cheating yourself. You should have treated yourself. By <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> Dirty Mac's <laughs> ass. Damn. Woo, man. <laughs> oh, man. What yeah, a treat yeah, I've had this evening. Pal. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I hate the fucking game. It's trash. Uh, the game is trash. I... Pure shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's what it is. It's trash. It's okay. Fucking shit. All right, RJ, we done with this shit. Get back to this goddamn game. <laughs> Get some rest. Leave us alone. <laughs> Goodbye. You got it. <laughs> Enough of that shit. I wish I had a flip flop. Slam that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but. The good old days when you used to bang. <laughs> bang on the motherfucker. Bang, bang, bang. Let you know, let you know, let you know it's real. When you used to hang up the phone. Bang, bang on bitches. Kids don't I, know. I get emotional. Days. Just bang on motherfuckers. <laughs> I banged on mama one time. She beat my ass when she got home. <laughs> you banged on me? I said, no, no man. I know you banged on me. I said, yeah, I did. <laughs> she beat the fuck out of me that night. That shit hurt like hell. <sighs> back to this goddamn. This is back to 60 Shots. Brought to you by Big Stew Films. <laughs> <laughs> Small live shows at stadiums. Mm. Stadiums. It's usually a better performer let's admit it youngest man you've been with oldest man you've been with but like you want me to name people no no just oh. what the ages please don't give oh. people some security numbers out like, no what? no no man uh-huh. <laughs> like, his name was leonard l McKelvey. <laughs> his social security number <laughs> his last name address was <laughs> no <laughs> i'm not the feds um, I, gosh i mean i guess the oldest i've been with was like 47 uh, you, you was how old? I was 20, or no, I was 28, 28 29. Okay, damn, that's 20 years. Fuck. Yeah. And, Ooh. um. Man, I can't wait to get old enough to date young women again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hate them right now. <laughs> uh, you're going to hate them more than probably. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know if I've, I've never dated anybody younger than me, so. I mean, um, I guess like 30. When I was 27, 28, probably like 32 or 34. <laughs> Never. Old, Never dated anybody old younger hussy. than me. <laughs> uh, 90s R&B or 2000s? 90s for sure. Favorite sex food? 
I don't know if I have a sex food. Damn. <laughs> At the fiftieth show, somebody in the audience said uh, fruit roll ups. I said, I said, man, that's why you got some extra fruit roll up in your house. I ain't doing it for the damn kids. It's for you, your nasty, <laughs> nasty mama ass. <laughs> I'm thinking of fruit roll ups. So that's like somewhere real. That's not real. I the fuck it. God damn, there's a lot of fruit rolls in this clot in this cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> your kids don't like this much goddamn candy. No, they don't. I mama feel like nasty. I end up making like a full breakfast at some point. Like eggs, bacon, all of it, and we end up eating really late at night. But I don't know if I would say that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was like, I don't know what to say, but I don't think that's what I meant when I wrote that. Yeah. <laughs> that's like a pre-sex food. <laughs> that's not, that's no, what... it's usually after, and then oh, look you, at you go back to it after. <laughs> I don't know what kind of life you live in, boy. You living out here, living in the fast lane. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Um. <laughs> Bar club. Bar. Uh, Martin or Fresh Prince? Fresh Prince. Wow. But I like both. Mm. That's a hard one, but I like, I mean, come on. Fresh no, I heard you like a hard one. I'm sorry. It's a hard one. Yeah. Thank you. That's hard. Mm. I mean, mm. when it comes to Fresh Prince, that's definitely a better theme song for sure. <laughs> We not yeah we not no we're not asking that it wasn't the damn question. <laughs> but they're both good shows. So you taking Fresh Prince, huh? I mean, wow. what's that tell Martin? You should tell Martin because Fresh Prince is still they're still air, airing that on the TV. They said air Martin too. I mean, finally they're putting it back on. No, the it's air. been on for a while. Yeah, but they stopped briefly. No, it just it's on. It's between BT <laughs> and MTV when they switch off at nighttime. Well. Viacom on both of them shit. So y'all in the same umbrella. So we, oh, what are we arguing about? <laughs> I don't know because they're both good. They're both good. Wow. Gina was amazing. No, nah, but you didn't pick Gina. You picked motherfucking us. You, you because pick Because it's a great show. Because it's a great show. It's a great show. Fake nails and natural nails. Natural nails. When was the first time you fell in love? Not until I was 30 years old. You can tell the damn story. You have a, oh, you want to hear the whole story? Not so. the whole version. Give me like the, the 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 short version. I mean, I guess I was finally figuring out who I was, and you know, I met somebody I thought was nicer, mm-hmm. but those things gotcha. don't work out. <laughs> you know? Man, that's so trash. I ended up in a three year relationship that was uh, trash. Uh, she did. I said, looking pretty your trash ass. She's miserable. I just felt it. <laughs> You did not. She's somewhere being mad at her life decisions. I'm over here laughing at her. I knew it. I wasn't mad. I th- I was happy until like the last six months. <laughs> yeah. Don't clean that shit up now. And there's what it is. God damn, man. I be in relationships. I don't understand. <sighs> not my time. Oh, when was the first time you had sex? Uh, I was 19. I was 19, 19 years old. 19, 19. You know what? That oh. was the only time I dated somebody younger than me. He was 18. <laughs> this has been coming out corner. We're going to end it right here, guys. This is a 15 minute show today. <laughs> we know for our longevity, but today. <laughs> um, when was the first time you had sex? Uh, point, no, it's not about me. Oh, yes, it is. It it's is not about, about me. Yes, it I is. was 21 years of age. Mm-hmm. I was 21. Who was she? She is a lesbian now. Oh. Uh, see? Far, don't far Don't you away. judge me. Don't you sit there and judge why me. People, why do people say I be judging people? Because. <laughs> I like to judge people? Yes, you do. <laughs> you just, you just, you, I do it with love. I don't. I didn't yes. judge. I, was, I, I just asked the question. Yes. Judgmentally. <laughs> no, I don't. Stop saying that. <laughs> That's not true. It's true. It's not true. That it's is true. not true. Mm-hmm. Um, Pornhub X videos. I, I don't watch it either, but I guess Pornhub, I guess. Oh. Isn't that one like where it's they yeah. look more real or something? I don't know nothing about anything. Yeah, sure you don't. Mm-hmm. Or who wrote these questions? You Is did. Like- <laughs> who else would have? <laughs> 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 Who's in charge of this uh, production? I, th- I think it's you. That's, that's scary. <laughs> that's petrifying. <laughs> oh, my motherfucker's speaking right now. What speaker went off? Speaker that I have uh, over there on the table. Oh. I play my tunes from. Oh. 
All right. Huh. Is it dead? No, I just I, I wasn't playing nothing, so it just turned off. It disconnected from my phone. Oh, gotcha. Bluetoothy. Um, size queen or work with what you got? Hmm? Are you a size queen or you work with what you got? Mm, I work with what I got. <laughs> 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 You nasty. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was so indecisive. It was coming either way. I saw <laughs> that was an epic failure there. Wow. Woo. Um Oh, this is a good one. This is from a conversation I had today. What is the shortest time between mates to like say per people? Like having sex between people? Yeah. When I feel like it. Okay, that's not that's can we please have an accurate, uh, accurate answer? That's the accurate answer. No, like in a in a moment of time a measurement of time, like a day, two days, four days, six hours. I two think hours. That definitely, it would probably be like a day or two. Okay, thank you. you sound, <laughs> Sister soldier, I'm not asking like that. I mean, <laughs> when I, I just, want to, it's bitch. just when I want to. I said, look here. Damn it. It could be six hours if I wanted to be. Uh, <laughs> Lady Bam Bam. Uh. Bella Donna. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna put on my outfit, but I didn't. I don't believe her. <laughs> I just feel nothing but lies. Favorite porn category. Well, she don't watch porn because she's Lady Bella Doom Doom. I Baby create Boo. the porn. <sighs> I create what they want to watch. <laughs> I should call somebody. <laughs> All right. Uh, House of Condo. I make the point though. That she you know, ask no questions. <laughs> and I make them. <laughs> if, I was, if, I was, if I was to ever be going through a category and I see Brittany pop up in my category, I would drop my phone and be like, you know what? <laughs> God damn, I never thought they would come to I was like, I can't I said, what is going on? I'm like, that's so funny. Like, uh, I just text you why? Like why? Like why? <laughs> why? Like why why is it why? 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 I love this category. Uh, how do, uh, I'm man. concerned. I'm concerned too. <laughs> now I'm scared to look on. Go to my categories now. <sighs> hmm. I have PTSD for real. Cat or dog? Hmm? Cat or dog? Uh, both. Let's see, that's. Uh, I have both. I love both. I love animals. I can't choose between a cat or a dog. They're both awesome. <laughs> if you said between a man or a cat and a dog, I would say the the cat and the dog. <laughs> hey, you got all the reason to feel that way too. <laughs> plenty of evidence for that argument. That's for damn sure. Mm -hmm. House of condo. A house. Malcolm X or Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King. <laughs> <laughs> like she didn't get that motherfucker even a thought M okay next question uh, <laughs> I mean they both have their shit. points and they both I, I just think um, Malcolm X although he may have been right about some things <laughs> certain things there were some reasons why I felt like MLK you know was more you know relatable but Malcolm X, I think he may have been right about violence. <laughs> I think he may have been right, you know. <laughs> he might have been right. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, 
Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. <laughs> Round of applause. You know, he might be on to something. <laughs> uh, threesomes or orgy? We've gone over all of this. They don't know that. Can we have like a discussion. I don't. <sighs> you know, I was. I know we had one, but I wish I knew what it was. I had to listen back to that show. Threesome with two men. Oh, that was you. I thought it was the other one. God damn. My my god. Sorry, it was a lot going on that day. Mm. It was a lot. Mm. It was a lot. Mm. <laughs> mm. You were real embarrassed. He did not, ladies and hey, gentlemen. Hey, 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 hey. He did not want his friend to be asking me questions. He was ready to get me off the phone. Ready. That's all I got to say. Those are all lies. It's the honest to God truth. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth. <laughs> <laughs> She's a nasty, nasty woman. <laughs> it's all fake news. Nasty, nasty woman. She's just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Music doing sex or silence? I I, I prefer TV. We discussed yeah, she this said, too. Yeah, she said TV and Netflix. Netflix got some good shit on it right now. They got some good, Re- like... Really good. Netflix and chill stuff that he can mm. start watching and just like, fuck it. Then you just can pick it back up later. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. What the fuck is up? <laughs> I'm just saying, I have been straight up watching Netflix for days. Like, I'd be cleaning. Netflix is in the background. So good. Packing. Netflix is in the background. It's made to ignore. Mm. No, made not to, to ba- ignore. It's background like, music. Sometimes you gotta rewind it. But, like, you're, I'm, I'm obsessed right now with certain shows. Like, The Umbrella Academy came back. Yeah. I, I gotta get back into that. Oof. Oh, this season was good. Umbrella Academy was good. And that nun show was good. Warrior Nun. That yeah, was good. It. it was good. What did I watch before that? I couldn't stop watching it. Yet I can't remember the name. <laughs> oh, right. Moving right along. <laughs> Beer or liquor? Liquor. Wedges or four inch heels? Hmm? Oh. Enunciate. <laughs> Wedges are four inch heels. Oh, wedges. He, he wrote he wrote a caption that said, Call a woman for this. I was like, Who wrote this fucking RJ? I hung up on him. Sorry. RJ. Right, right. I wish I had a slant. I wish I had a foot phone with a bow. I would have banged it on him. I had like a, a razor. I would have banged it on him. You should ask him if he like wedge, if he likes to wear wedges or four inch heels. He nasty. He like he like them in four inch heels. Because mm. he ain't got a worm. I, how do you know? I mean, I'm, I'm, I, <laughs> I'm just you don't know. I mind my business. What he doesn't, what he does behind closed doors, you don't he know. Could, what people he could do. be, he, you know, he, he could be out here. He could be some freak nasty. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Uh, Jay Z and Nas. Jay Z, I guess. Yeah, I I can't think of anything that I I don't know to listen to. I think it's all bad, so I didn't know what to do with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I feel like. Gospel or or, or, or the reggae? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, PC or Apple? Uh, Apple. Gucci or Louis? Why not? Why well, I shouldn't? He don't run in that shit. Sleep naked or clothed? Cloth. I, I wrote it cloth. <laughs> <Don't get me wrong. laughs> um, he say cloth. I'm cloth. Clothed. But it should be clothed. Free naked or clothed? Do you sleep naked or with oh, a cloth? Yeah, I, I, I when my son is not around. <laughs> I like to be free. <laughs> I ain't met a woman yet to sleep with clothes on. It's yeah. uncomfortable. We have to wear bras, right. panties, yeah. tight shoes, tight clothes, makeup. Sometimes you just don't want to wear clothes. It's very good. It makes a lot of sense. It makes very good sense. Yeah. Uh, Mary J. or Whitney Houston? Hmm? Mary J. or Whitney Houston? I'm going to give it to Mary J. because she made better life choices. <gasps> Damn. <laughs> wow. I mean, Whitney, Whitney Houston's a better singer, but Mary J. made better life choices. <laughs> Mary J. because you alive, Mary J. You made, <laughs> you made better. And she, she's, she left the dude. She's away from the dude. 
Bobby Brown still alive. Mm-hmm. I hear doing living shit. off her money and her dollars. <laughs> uh, damn, Bobby Brown jaw. Wow. Mm. Uh, full bush or bald? Bald. Leggings or sundress? Sundress. No yeah. leggings. <sighs> I mean, I'll be honest. I'd probably wear leggings more. I've I've been, I've been moving. My, my vote's been moving over to the sundress this year. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was being in captivity for so long, or <laughs> just the breeze hit the right one. I don't know. But <laughs> I was a staunch. I was a staunch lifelong leggings person. Now I'm like I'm a little more moderate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little more to the middle. <laughs> I, can, yeah, I, I used like, to wear dresses all the time, but because of COVID and yeah. all of the pandemic, I started wearing leggings all the time. <laughs> Sitting around the house wearing your leggings, <laughs> your yoga pants. She said, "Cause of leggings, I don't. Cause of COVID, uh, leggings. I don't want my bo- I want my, my box out there to get no COVID in. It's gonna wrap it. I gotta put my, I gotta put some wrapping on my box so the COVID might get in that way." <laughs> The COVID. <laughs> she said, I had to stop wearing dresses because I don't want the COVID in my box. <laughs> it said particles can get in there, so I don't make sure it's covered. I had to put a mask on my box. And I called it motherfucking legs. <laughs> uh, she put a mask on her box. Called them leggings. <laughs> Whew, man, thongs or boy shorts? Boy shorts. Hmm. Have you ever been with a married man? No, not to my knowledge. <sighs> you know they love to lie, but don't they? Recently, I can't wait to lie again. One, recently, uh-huh. one well, he wasn't married, but he was in a relationship, mm-hmm. and I found out because you have to start digging, <laughs> ladies. If you don't know this. When a man starts talking to you on a dating website, I don't care if they want to call you stalkers or not. You start looking them up on social media because they're all liars. <laughs> and so this one had kept liking me on whatever, you know, dating sites there were. He always kept liking me. Finally, I liked the dude back. And Word of the day, guys. Persistence. Mm-hmm. We've heard nothing but stories today about persistence. Well. Just keep swinging your ex one day. Well, well, no, because uh, he, I ended up fucking up his life. Anyway, <laughs> oh, he deserved shit. it. He had it coming. Oh, no. You know, he had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> he had it coming this all not, along. This is, this is not Starlight. <laughs> this, just... this is not Starlight. What was, what was this? This is not Star, star Search. Search. <laughs> I said, it's not Get Starlight. it right. It's not Star- <laughs> I am Edmund, man. But this so listen, is Star listen, Search. listen, listen, listen. This guy was nasty. And there's there's more stories than of this than I can. I dare. I, I can't. They make me sick. They all make me sick. They make me sick. So I decided. I didn't know it turned to man bashing, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to get in her way. This isn't man bashing. I'm not getting her way, but I didn't know she could get you. This well, isn't man bashing. Like, Women do this shit too. But so like the dude. On Instagram, had a girlfriend of two years. And because he's texting me every day, hey, beautiful, blah, blah, blah. And I'm ignoring his text. I was, I saw the girlfriend. I was like, saw your girlfriend. <laughs> and I made sure first that they were still together, all of that. Like, I, I really went through her. They were together that weekend <laughs> for his birthday. She threw him like a big birthday party. <laughs> And I was like, he's something else. I was like, I saw your girlfriend and she was hot. Like, she was a 10. Why is he on the internet looking for chicks? I don't know. So I decided to message the girlfriend. Ain't no pussy like new pussy. That's Mm. what they say. I don't know. That's what they say. I don't know. But I messaged the girlfriend and fucked his life all up. Damn. Fucked his life all up. Happy birthday, guy. Happy birthday, dude. And happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday to you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry to him. That poor woman. I'm she sorry. was paying his shit, too. I'm, I'm sorry, fuck. ma'am. That was uh, 60 Shots brought to you by Big Stu Fields. <laughs> she was so grateful. 
Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies got to stick together. <laughs> <sighs> Man, all right. Uh, <laughs> the week that was. So <laughs> tell us the good and bad of the week that was for you. Of the week that was? Yeah. This week, you mean? Yeah, this past week. So the the good things this week. Yes. Been a pretty good week mostly. I uh, I signed a contract on a house. I have been trying to do that for a while. It's a seller's market, and so that's been difficult <laughs> to mm-hmm. find a house. But uh, we finally did it, and it's been nice. It's a really cute house. That's um, good. and joy. it is a joy. I'm I'm really excited. <laughs> and cut. And cut. Um, I got a big girl job. I'm happy about that. Thank you. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> um, I don't really feel like there's too much negative other than, you know, normal stuff. But I'm not looking forward to my son's stay-at-home school. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that again. I'm really not. But <laughs> that's about it. I think I'm just... Stressing about that and packing and going through stuff, but that's a joy in itself, packing, going through stuff. And having Netflix in the background. Yes. Mm-hmm. Do it in the background. <laughs> What's been your good and bads? Man, this is not a, we do that. We're not co-hosting. This ain't. Yes, this ain't, we are. People this, have this to know what's going on Spielman in the, Kathy host, Lee. the host's life. <laughs> <laughs> murder and mayhem um you see the police tell them don't send them here no um the week that was for me um working on the 50 episode stuff for the audience getting that shit back um trying to get some sponsorship stuff figured out because i'm sick of paying for this shit myself mm. Uh, uh, loud back. Oh no, the mic the mic <laughs> takes it out, so you're good. Oh, okay, good. Uh, it takes it out. Yeah, it won't be that good. We got some good equipment now. Oh, good. Well, that's how we got it. But it's here now. Oh, what did, who did you have to sleep with? Man, I wish it was that easy. <laughs> Shit, I, I I do that for I, I, absolutely. <laughs> I don't need that much. What if it was a nasty grandma with oh, her teeth missing? Come on, man. I gotta up the ante, and that's like I need that. I need that and that. You would do it for the sugar mama. Ah, uh, that fuck! I'm like, man. Mm-hmm. Maybe you should get yourself a sugar mama. No, I, there's I, websites for that. I, I, I don't care. That, I don't care long enough. <laughs> <laughs> there's websites. I don't care long enough. You could be a sugar I don't baby. Get, it really gets offline. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, really I think that's a lot of people. I just don't even go all the way. I've been having a hook a lot. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to meet up for coffee? Well, I don't even ask. I don't even ask. I just never ask. You just put it down. <laughs> You're wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I am damaged Louis Vuitton luggage. That's it. I am. Mm. I am damaged luggage. I, I am, am too. So I am broken. I can't, I can't judge you. I I know. I believe all positivity stuff, but I am tr- trash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and knowing I'm trash, I leave. I leave women alone. I'm not gonna make her life worse. I'm not gonna make her no better. She gonna make mine great. <laughs> She gonna my life gonna go through the fucking roof, baby. Her shit finna go like fucking like Kodak. Look at you growing. <laughs> Look at you growing. See, if only all trash men knew <laughs> to leave good women alone. See, I think that's a, a growth. I think that's a growth. Because someday you won't be trash. <laughs> and you'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> and until then, you're leaving good women alone. <laughs> I think that's I think that's growth. I'm not even like bad trash. Like my trash is like recycling. Like <laughs> I'm like I'm not dumpster trash. I'm recyclable trash. So like I'm respected. I can be in front in the front of the building and so long. I'm like garbage. I'm recyclable. I'm mm-hmm. recyclable. Right. 
<sighs> just even, just I can't get that far. But uh. I get it. Trust me. I mean, I've got my issues too. I've I've gone over them with you. Trust no one. <laughs> Arms length. I thought his website is sick. <laughs> If you're just looking for friends with benefits, I said, damn, they got everything. Christian Mingle, Silver Plus. I said, it's a little app for everything. If you buy yourself because you ain't lonely enough. <laughs> Something's wrong with you. The like, bottom is you. very far down. <laughs> the problem, what I'm noticing, though, is like, I don't think people who are really looking for something are on those anymore. I don't know what they're doing. It must, it must stop. It must stop playing unemployment. Then I guess. <laughs> I think they're. I think they have hobbies and they're meeting people through their hobbies. I always say that. I always say even even before Michael found her husband, I would say, do shit you love. Mm-hmm. I've met the I'm, I've met the best women, even with just friends from doing shit I love, like podcasts. I love doing it. I met some dope ass people in that process. It's gonna be my path or whatever. It has so many ways it can go. But you got to do something. Right. You can't just sit and like wait for motherfuckers to show up. This is a, this is a contact sport. This is football. <laughs> right. This is not golf. No. <laughs> you got to be no. in the game. I'll be very patient and hope you don't die first. <laughs> if you get in there, you take your whole stroll, you take your whole walks in the morning, you just, you got to get through these motherfuckers mm-hmm. on both sides. I've only way I've seen it. I've seen the patient, which is cool, but God damn, who got the kind of many years to wait? Mm-hmm. Or... You cut that in half, you get out there, you take your motherfucking lumps and keep fucking fighting. That's the route. Pretty much. I, Michael is the route of kept fighting. <laughs> <laughs> My mom, the route of just waited. <laughs> it, I mean. So it is what it is. But she, she had children. She's a single mom. Right? Yeah, so. yeah. She had us. But like she never, even when she had a boyfriend, we never felt like she needed to have a boyfriend. It's like if they fit, they do. They don't. They don't. We kept shit moving. Like I never felt like, oh man, she going to choose him over me. I was like. Who this? <laughs> All right. Well, I don't ask any questions. I figure if you get past her, I have no better questions than that. So <laughs> <laughs> I trust her judgment pretty well. So I'm going to mind my business, sir. Yeah. I mean, my son meets no one. So. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> I mean, I, I get that completely. Mm-hmm. Completely. It's just I ain't got nobody to meet, boo-boo. <laughs> you tell me when that baby go to daddy house. <laughs> then come, I come to zaddy house. <laughs> <laughs> Meet me at the bar hotel of the West End. <laughs> Bring your best in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I ain't done that shit in so goddamn long. Uh, Miss the marriage star. God, man. Best part of my life. Uh, what else? So, wait. So, what did I say was my good? My good was. Uh, what was my good? My good was. I don't think you've really been saying yet. Like who was working on the show, mm-hmm. true audience number fifty, August twenty eighth. Um, shit, the city closed at eleven o'clock. So shit, I really? Sh- yeah, starting today from that. now till September seventh. Usually, I get a notification. I didn't get anything. All uh, city bars closed at uh oh the bars. Um, damn, what was I saying? All the bars closed. Closed at 11. So, like, <laughs> our show on the 28th falls in that window. So, like, our show supposed to end at 10. Then, shit, drink till we got to get the fuck out of Big Daddy's. Man. It was August 28th. It's a Friday, number 50. We still know what the fuck we're doing, but we going to hope for something. Big Daddy's is closed now, right? No. One of the two large. Oh. I don't know what the landing doing. Oh. Is that the one that closed? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. The landing closed. It was the, it was the landing wheelhouse. Uh, start bar and club marquee. Man, uh, got caught for two two weeks and uh, not Dukes. I think uh, Truman's closed too. For I think they had to sell the building. Shit, crazy. Bad bad, bad leadership. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's already Get hard enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why would you do it? Why cut that? That shit. Good guy. Um. I don't really have too much bad. Not for real. I mean, everything's going as I expected. Join everybody, you know, trying to get shit figured out. Damn, I got how freaked it was. Damn. Also, it feels like every day the same damn day. I know. We just moved by. Like, we already in August. We've been going September. I know. Now, I don't know. I don't remember shit since January. I, that's because we were locked indoors for so long. I almost forgot Kobe did. I said, damn, Kobe is dead. He died. 
Pre pre COVID, I said, "Damn, it's a pre and before." Because like every other star has died since. I'm like, <laughs> I, oh my god, how many have died this year? I don't. I can't even keep count anymore. They just keep dropping. None as big as him, though. I guess. And he 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 died over. He ain't died because of this. He got out before no, this came. Poor thing. Oh man, death and mayhem. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Everybody's dropping life lies. This next segment is called Put It On My Tabs. Any announcements, anything you want to share with the audience, the connoisseurs? Put it on your tab. Yeah. Like, what would you want me to share? <laughs> I don't know. Shit, you got say shit. I don't think I was going to share just the, um, this, this shit. This might not even be out before I put this. This might not even be out before the 28th. Probably not. So I'm talking about some shit. I'm talking about the f- the future in the past. Let's <laughs> come out. We gonna be way into the future <laughs> if we make it Back to the to future, the future. <laughs> right? <laughs> it will come out way after the 28th. So I'm talking about some shit that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna see this shit. <laughs> I'm like, what are they talking about? What is this? It's September 18th, <laughs> August 20th. Yeah. Um. Damn. That's it. I suck, guys. All right, let's move forward. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> All right, give us any recommendations of album, books, and movies you've been watching a podcast. This is the Yak and Rick portion of the day. So what would you recommend? Like, what are you listening to? What are you watching? Uh, I've actually been... Uh, so I've been listening to this podcast. Um, it's called, like, Divorced as Fuck. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's, but it's AF. It's Divorced AF. What's, what station is on? I I listen on like Google Podcasts. Oh, okay, it's a podcast. Yeah. So how's mm-hmm. it set up? What do you mean? Like, is it so? How what's the format? Is it like it's like storytelling, or is it like an interview? Or it, yeah, it's interviews. Okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they they're just doing interviews. A lot of them are moms. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is like a book series, and it was supposed to be mom as fuck, but her husband was like a drug addict. Uh-huh. And he was ruining her band, her brand, and like, yeah, I mean, Damn, messing man. with her kids' lives, and um, just like she decided, she finally sat him down and was like, "This is it. Like, you can't get it together. We've been talking about this for a while, and mm-hmm. um, you know, he's just a toxic person, and so yeah. it's a good show, really good, yeah, really that's, good. That's too much <laughs> my spirit. That's too much. <laughs> but the things they talk about are good like they talk about um you know like dating as a single mom like they don't want to either i they i'm kind of in the same boat they are i just don't want to anymore <laughs> like it's gotten to that point where i don't want they, they all say the same things every single one of them i mean i have not heard one original oh, yeah, thing. Hearing from the, right from the hearing from the same book <laughs> just so you know yes <laughs> This you all need to get some new game because you all sound the same. <laughs> um, so we like we, apparently we're all tired of the same game and we all can recognize it. At, at some point you get used to the red flags. And so <laughs> you're just like, I'm over this. And you Are just want to focus. Russia this goddamn red. <laughs> <laughs> we in China. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it sounds like, you know, and I just have wanted to focus on growing my life and, you know, building my life and my son's life and getting him squared away. And when you're doing that, you don't have time for that nonsense. So sure don't. So. <laughs> it's awesome fucking nonsense. It's so horrible. It's really bad out there. It is trash. For men and women. For men and women. It's not well, just. Well, men can get low enough and like start dating young women. It's be gross. They can be those guys. Yeah, but, but like, I mean, so women play games too. I mean, they can be real manipulative. I've heard some stories, <sighs> you know. They can be real manipulative and play games, like pay attention to me and, you know, all of that shit. That's so annoying. And they give the rest of us a bad name. In my opinion, where they're like, why aren't you texting me? Oh, my God. You didn't answer my text like five minutes ago. <laughs> like, oh, my God. People work. <laughs> that just gave me hives. You just don't. It's do you know guys do that to me now? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a sick game out here, man. I'm like, dude, <laughs> my life doesn't revolve around you. It's a sick game. It's a <laughs> sick, sick game. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> these are all them kids, these are all them people that was on them leashes. Um, all them people that their parents <laughs> let them go out nowhere. These are these this we are paying for them kids we saw growing up. Said, oh, they're gonna be fucked up when they get older. And now mm-hmm. they older. And we unfortunately fortunately we still allowed to see it. But unfortunately we are allowed to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think COVID was trying to take care of it, but so the good, the good, the good die young, and the, the bad live forever. I know that's the truth. Oh man, the they bad live lives forever. forever. Damn, mm. the villain lives forever. Damn, I don't know how we got down this road. Look what you done did. We were talking about real stuff. That's what we we're doing. Uh, games. Re- relationships, games. It's just, that's what we're know. talking about. Games, it's trash. I gave up. The games out there. I gave up last year. Uh, what else recommendation you give? Any, any, any music? Any? I mean, I just listen to what's. Sti- I mean, I've been listening to this. I just add stuff to my playlist as I hear it. I mean, yeah, we don't want to listen. I mean, it's so, just it just a, sounds horrible, right? You now. don't even know. You don't I, know what's on my playlist. I don't want to know. Sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Yeah, it's know a big it mixture of everything. Ooh, that it would sound like soup. Soup, soup can be very good. I had soup in a long ass time. I love soup. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I make really good soups. <laughs> I'm a good cook. Darian always wants to eat my food. He's like, "Can I get a plate?" No. <laughs> I don't know who this Darian person she speaks of, but if he was here to defend himself, I think he would say. <laughs> Lies you tell. Mm. Now on this show, you won't be telling them mm. kind of lies. Mm. Where's my plate? <laughs> I won't allow it. I won't allow it. <laughs> I can't believe all my friends are pregnant. Man, all of them. I know. All of them lie. Can you believe in one specific Hell friend? Hell yeah. It's pregnant. I'm so excited. I, said, Angela, I cried. I, oh, fuck this. What's her goddamn name? Angela signed my wall. On my birthday. Aw, was she uh, on the show? Uh, no, she wasn't oh. on the show, but she was in the audience because we were supposed to go out or some shit. I got really hammered at the show. and <laughs> I, we, we, I think we went out. I hope we did. I don't remember. But <laughs> it was my birthday, so we had to go out and do something. Um, Sulo. But she, she was here. She signed a wall with she, A1 from day one. And then who else signed that same day? Uh, damn, what's the date? 23, 23? Uh, yeah, Sean and Lindsay. Did my birthday podcast. I had him as him and his lady on the podcast, and um, he went back to he went back to black women. I was really proud of him. <laughs> I've been trying to go back, but it's hard, man. Why is it hard? It's a lot. It's a Why slot. is it a lot? <sighs> black is beautiful. I know black is king. I don't mean they and it ain't hard to work with. It's hard. That's why. <sighs> It's not hard. Be, it's not hard. They they not the problem. I'm the problem. So it's well, not them. It's me. Well then. Oh yeah, I, I'm guilty. I say the jury and the judge. I'm lock me up. How long? How much time? Then why do you say going black back to black women is hard? Cause I I'm not ready. Whew, I'm not ready for the crown. I, I'm not ready. My head ain't strong enough for the crown. Mm. Mm. Well then, you need to wait until I'm just going mind my, my business and sit down and be quiet. I'm, all I'm gonna do is ruin somebody. Well, yes, then you need burn to burn it down until you're ready. Burn it down. <laughs> burn wait it until down. you're ready. <laughs> burn it down. Burn it down. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I play too much. I don't even know what I like anymore. <sighs> I used to like Asian persu- persuasion, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know. I still, I still kind of prefer Asian persuasion, but you know. I feel guilty about all of it. I'm like, I feel guilty want to want to caress your thighs, girl. But I said she dies by my side. I can't be here. I gotta go home. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> I'm a whole head case. You are. It's okay. Uh, Who isn't? Who isn't? Whoever claims they aren't is lying. (laughs) I'm so put together. I've got it all together. You're a liar. 
<laughs> what are you doing? Yep. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. I remember, I remember that original. I remember that original song. That was my shit back. That's like, hey, back for <laughs> All I think of is a uh, Players Club. Players Club. Ice Cube and uh, Diamond. See, oh, <laughs> yeah. It took me a second. It took like, me a second. Who don't love you? How you know that? How you know that? That's a hood classic. <laughs> that is good. a hood classic. It is. It is. There's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Now we get to the deep, deep part of the show. Deep part of the show. So we get real. With Lady Belladonna. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you can't even get those right. You can't even do it. You need to put like little labels on. <laughs> oh my God. With these holes in this house. <laughs> this wet ass pussy. Oh, ma'am. 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 <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't put the vibes on. <laughs> what about throw some money? I love that one. <laughs> when it's not just her. <laughs> like, throw some. <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Where did you learn your game and approach from? My what? Where did you learn your game and approach from? You. Pa- pause. Pa- uh, edit no, this. No, uh, edit point. Let's, what, let's wait, talk about wait, it. wait, wait, wait. We should. When work. I was freshly <laughs> getting the voice. <clears throat> These are all lies. Let, no, news. no. This is great. This is great because people should know. Like when I was. This is. I, no, you should feel good about this though. For real. Because I would have been a lost little lamb out there in the world. If it would not have been for you. Because like going out there after being married to a dickwad for like eight years, together 10. I had no idea what was going on out there in the world. And you were always telling me like, no, he just wants Netflix and chill. And I'm like, what's Netflix and chill? <laughs> this is when it first started. That's what they, this was yeah. peak Netflix. When yeah, Netflix didn't have no original programming, just about the old shit. It was, mm-hmm. it was made for some bullshit. Yeah, man. yes. He did, like he was letting me know what all of it was. I would have had no idea what the world was about if it was not for <laughs> Boston Market. <laughs> I'm disrespecting my own show, okay? My name is Marcus Boston. Okay, Marcus O. Boston. Okay, Marcus Boston. Mom, M-O-B. You're not going to do that on the show. You're not going to do it. I'm not having it. I'm not going to tolerate that. I'm sorry, but if it hadn't been for you, I would have been out there like a lost lamb. Just a lamb for slaughter. Mm-hmm. Just a lamb for slaughter. I said, you don't have to go out. Hello, little lady. Need some help? <laughs> You look look lost. <laughs> I was a shepherd. <laughs> I've been the wolves. It was like, the wolves. I, kept, I was a wolf in sheep's clothing. But I was a good wolf. I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going to keep you from the killers. I'm going to teach you. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> but he was a wolf, too. <laughs> Just not quite as bad. <laughs> I'm a thug, but I ain't a thug thug. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a money laundering thug, not like a pull the trigger thug. <laughs> and then I learned some more of my own things along the way. Yeah, she went on her way. I heard some lessons I couldn't teach her. Mm-hmm. She, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. But you gave me the basics. Yeah, I gave you some, some, build, some building blocks. Something to mm-hmm. start with. Something to start with. 
All those main Legos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those those those, are, those are rich that DNA, the DNA, mm-hmm. yeah, get the nutrients, yeah, from the amino acids, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Him, I do it like I do it. <laughs> I'm do it like I do it. <laughs> uh, him, I do it like I do it. Um, <laughs> all right, that, that answer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wanted to go. Deep with Lady uh, Belladonna. <laughs> Can we talk about Angela's precious baby again? No, no not right. Because I cried. <laughs> oh, I, was, oh my God. I was fucking pissed I'm off. I'm so happy. Yo, you were mad. I was I'm mad so as happy. fuck. Why? I was cussing and kicking over shit. Like, like, you I was were like so my mad. last friend without a baby. <laughs> <laughs> she lied to me for a whole year. I can't believe she's doing this what to do us. What do you mean? <laughs> How could she? We was moving on. We were, we were gonna be out in these streets together. She that bitch gonna get engaged and pregnant. I said, <gasps> "You motherfucker!" I knew he was gonna marry her. I felt, I felt betrayed. <laughs> he was you know gonna what? marry. Her. Oh, I'm gonna call her he right now to her. how I feel. But I hope she pick up the goddamn phone. <laughs> Oh great! I got something to say. I you but she was, Man, I was so I happy. Don't give a damn. I am not lying. I cried. I like am. I was like, oh my god, I'm so happy. I oh, cried with baby. attitude. <laughs> but she did that to me. Yeah, having a baby. <laughs> I can't believe mother. you were mad. I can't get to this motherfucking number fast enough. Why are you mad about what is she in your phone as? <laughs> your damn business. Mm-hmm. Are we all in his phone is? It's my phone. I pay the bills sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna end. Man, she she's my homie. She's she's pregnant. She's tired. Uh, that's some Your call has been Damn. forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Three one four six zero four one two seven eight is not available. <laughs> At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Excuse me, Angela. This is Mark of Investments Boston calling from the Cognac Corner podcast with uh, this lady named Lady Belladonna. This is bullshit. Uh, I am. I were talking about how I'm angry at you that you did this to your life and did it to our life together. That you wouldn't do what you did. And Lady and Belladonna is talking about how she was so happy she cried. I, was, I felt betrayed. I and feel Lady like I was standing in the back. Excited. I feel like Jesus and Judas. I see what Jesus feel like for for, for twenty shillings. Marcus Boston seven. is just bitter. Bitter a bitch. I they don't have bitter. a taste. I'm so bitter. bitter it make your fucking heart stop. Bitter. <laughs> Michael last year and you this year. Damn, I can't believe y'all did that to me. <sighs> Key word in this is me. It's a beautiful thing. Some bullshit. It's beautiful. One day you're gonna pick up when I call you, but you can never. have a voicemail. She'll never pick up. That's happening. <laughs> can't believe you did this to us. I can't believe you are so <laughs> you are so extra and dramatic. Goodbye. <laughs> I can't believe you did this to us. <laughs> that could be a song. I can't believe you did this to us. <laughs> Oh my god, you crack me up. Oh, life is shambles now. Uh, because they chose you to, to get married and have babies. Did Michael have a baby? Me. Michael pregnant now. <gasps> oh, that's so great. And... Why are you not happy for people okay. in their happiness? Let other people have their happiness just because no. we're bitter bitches. <laughs> no, I'm not dying by myself. <laughs> just because they found happiness. Fuck that. No, we don't find love in the open place. <laughs> you call him Michael. Damn right. Oh, my God. Oh, so bitter. You're so bitter. You're going to be Uncle D. Uncle, Uncle Boston Market. <laughs> <laughs> See, back in the day, my parents would pick up for me at 8.30 at night. Now, mm-hmm. 8.30 on a Thursday. Passed out. You have reached the voicemail Damn, box. I used to pick up for me. Three, one. It's different when you become a parent. I hate my life. It's different when you become a parent. You're exhausted by the end of the day. 
<laughs> you just don't know. So hard. So hard. Especially when it's a babies in your life. <sighs> Pregnancy takes a lot out of you. You just want to sleep your whole day away. <laughs> stop being, stop looking like that like your life is over. <laughs> You really, he looks like his life is over, people. Like his life ended. Because <laughs> two of his female friends are having babies. With their husbands. I'm so sad. God. I hate them both, man. Jesus. <laughs> Listen to my you. My sister had another baby today. I feel everyone's, I feel people making fun of me because I have, I don't have any children. <laughs> I really feel Why attacked. aren't you happy that your sister had a baby? What? Okay. Your, it, is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. Congratulations, Uncle. Uncle Boston Market. <laughs> Why aren't you happy? You're an uncle. I don't like this show no more. You're an uncle. I love my nieces and nephews. Those are kids you get to send home at the end. <laughs> You get to pass those kids back to their parents. What kind of household and environment did you raise? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you for real got emotional. Oh, I hate this place. I hate it here. I hate Earth. I hate Earth. What kind of household and environment did you grow up in? Have you ever seen the show The Goldbergs? No. It sounds horrible. <laughs> it's hilarious. Like the Goldbergs, like Goldberg the wrestler? No, it's so uh, if it's on like NBC or something like that. What's it about? <laughs> this white family. And the dad like comes in the door, takes off his underwear, and is like, nobody talk to me. And sits in his chair. His underwear? Or his pants. I'm sorry, his pants. Like, yeah, you, skipped, you skipped a whole bunch of shit through his drawers. I'm sorry. He takes off his pants. It's like, nobody talk to me. And he has a specific chair that he always sits in. Nobody else is allowed to sit in it. The mom is a smother. That's what they call her, a smother. She's like all over her kids all the time. Oh, my God. That's my favorite. And the brothers and sisters all fight all the time. It's pretty actually funny. Um, But my family was, I. they remind me a lot of that. <laughs> my dad often was walking around in his underwear before that was considered unacceptable. <laughs> behavior <laughs> and he did have his own yeah he was tidy whitey zone yeah he had his tidy oh, whitey zone the dun -dun -duns. nasty <laughs> drop that dun -dun -dun. hey drop that yep. dun -dun -dun. um and he like had his specific chair nobody else was allowed to sit in it yep yep he still has that chair to this day he hates when anybody sits in it because it conforms to his body he says <laughs> <laughs> He's still like that. And uh yeah, my mom was real involved in our lives, sometimes obnoxiously, just like that. <laughs> but she was a good mom. She gonna text me back at Courtney's uncle's house. What's up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we used to be this say what you tell her to listen to her message. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't leave Michael a message. I left. Uh, oh, I left Angela a message. I didn't leave Michael a message. Oh, I see, should have. you should have. I should see. call it. I should call it back. Be just as extra. I miss you. <laughs> I miss my fresh friend Michael. <laughs> I miss you. <laughs> He's being super extra. So I feel like this. For me and Mary Jane. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> da -da -da -da. I don't know why I made the wrong turn somewhere. Mary Jane. My life, my life, my life, my life. <laughs> yes, your life. <laughs> you need to get this music off and stop like reminiscing. 
<laughs> you, you look so ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my God. So upset that your friends are having babies. They babies and Mary. I said, damn, these be baby mama. How dare you be wives? But why, God forbid. God forbid. God let Somebody me down. Somebody did the right thing and put a <laughs> ring on their finger. God forbid. Somebody's other oh, value. <laughs> I met Michael's husband. I think I told you that. My God would never. <laughs> My God would never <laughs> let this happen to me. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Courtney? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what the story is, but. Well, he came to our jewelry store. Oh, yeah, day. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like they bombarded him. I felt so bad. Mm-hmm. The, the the other guy that works there, he, mm-hmm. we were all like, we should call him. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I don't think they got around to it. Courtney bought that right. Mm-hmm. In high school, what table did you sit at? Oh, we didn't, I didn't have a assigned table. I mean, like, you have, like, the jock table. You have, like, that table. Like I went to a visual and performing arts oh, high right. school. <laughs> there wasn't a, a jock table. <laughs> was there athletes there? They were playing the fix. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> And Central the, VPA. And the trombone. <laughs> they were good with their fingers in their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I was just some sex with some children. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, made that, I made a you, whole you laugh. Made that, you made that awkward. I made real that quick. personal, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> All about me. Lots of uh, making out in the. <laughs> In the uh, in the lighting room or whatever. Not the lighting room. <laughs> oh my god! What is she saying? What did she say? <laughs> what she does see? Mm. What she does see? Let's talk to this weekend. Uh. As a young adult, what was your perspective and approach to dating and sex? This sounds like a horrible story for to happen. <laughs> I think I've told you this though, so I no, mean, this is not about me. I mean, but you, you, you act like you haven't heard. You like this horrible story is going to happen. I know that's why it is. Because you're gonna, I hope you tell it because it's, it's a great horrible story. Well, I grew up in a overly Christian family. Hey, if I had my sound boy, guys, I thought I would have some amens uh, in here or something, but I ain't got shit. Oh, yeah. They, they, oh, those, there you go. Those kind of whites. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, them kind. Yes. Uh, you know, sex was against Jesus. Jesus. Jesus didn't believe in sex before marriage. Jesus was a Jew. He was fucking. Hi. <laughs> he was fucking Mary. Mary went no hoe. Mary was the real one. Mary was his mother. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> wasn't the other Mary? Mary Magdalene? Mary Magdalene, yeah, right. She was, she the, was, she was, she the was one. a hoe, yeah. No, she wasn't a hoe. She was. Some, no, some Pope chose to interpret that shit that way. No. Exactly. Some white That's man it. with mm-hmm. a little penis chose to make this That's a hoe. Right. She wasn't a hoe. Because a bunch, she probably wouldn't sleep with him. There's a bunch of hoes. I mean, there's a bunch of ladies with the name Mary, and they just crossed that shit up. No, that shit was some bullshit. <laughs> Mary no, was the one. They, that's what they say. They say that she really was his wife. Yeah, he was. He was Jewish. There's no way a Jewish man can walk around. Why would Israel she wash his feet? With, with no, with no, not being married at his, at his age. Jesus was married. That's what happens in the Jewish community. So it's making sense. Well, Lioness. I mean, he was going around saving everybody he could have possibly not been married, but. Hey, Mother King had hoes. I mean, yeah, sometimes you just walk through, you know, amen. Fucking I wouldn't she judge wouldn't Jesus it. for having sex. I'm yeah, just no, saying. Your rocks off. You need to have a clear Listen, mind. who changed the Bible? King James. King James changed a lot of the Bible. Let's Not just... LeBron James. King James. King James. Oh. But, like, think of the King James version of the Bible. Yeah. He changed it, a lot of it, to how he wanted it to be. So, um,. Yeah, so like they believed no sex before marriage, and this was beat into your head as a young girl. Just you know. beat it. Mm-hmm. Just beat it. So, you know, lots of unhealthy visions of what sex was. But I don't think I ever truly grasped that. Like, I don't think I ever really agreed. Um, I kind of always went my own way anyway. Um, and I did feel really guilty after I had sex the first time, I remember. 
Especially because my dad slut shamed me. I feel guilty <laughs> now because it's gonna be so bad. Hmm? I feel guilty now. <laughs> um, it's gonna be so bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. But yeah, I was like, I gotta wait till I'm married. I gotta wait till I'm married. I'm glad I did not wait till I was married. But like, you know, they make you feel like sex isn't important, and right. that's a that's a bad thing to teach children. I think like um, because what are you doing? <laughs> That's some background oh, okay because sex in your marriage is very important yeah. i'm sorry to say yeah um that's very distracting <laughs> but like sex in your marriage is very important and when it's bad you don't really want to be in your marriage <laughs> um <laughs> So, you know, and if you don't have a lot to compare it to, like, I think that's why they want women to remain <laughs> virgins. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. if you don't have a lot to compare it to, that's what you think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, But, you know, I think if you know better, <laughs> then you're not going to stick around for that. So, I mean, I, I, I never really agreed with all of that. And I think, but still my ex-husband was my second partner. And I still regret that <laughs> because my dad did slut shame me yeah. after, yeah. you know, like my, my first partner, he found out and he was just, I mean, he slut shamed me. Ugh. He was just like, who's going to want to marry you? You Everybody. know, like, <laughs> like, I was like, what? I say it's Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Everyone has a future. Right. <laughs> I, was like, I don't bust down, please. I, yeah. I want, I want professional. I was like, my God, he made me feel really bad about my life in that moment. And so I felt like, I I mean, I can't sleep with a bunch of people after that. Um, Yeah, but there is a lot of stigma around women and sex, for sure. I I still feel like that to this day. Like, I feel like if if a man asks you your number and you were to really tell them if it was a high number. I was at 10. Unless you're probably lying. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, but like, I feel like guys can say whatever number and that's okay. You know, but if a woman were to say, let's say 20, that's an extremely high number in a guy. I'm saying that's it's fuck. I mean, to a lot of guys, that's way too much. I remember when I met my ex of three years and at the time it was like 11. He was like, What? I was like, well, you told me you've been with, like, 16. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, well, I mean, and I don't think he had actually been with 16, to be honest Hell with you. No, Fuck no. Ass. No. Fuck he was no. so socially awkward. I don't right. think so. You ain't that cool. No. I chose you. You didn't choose me, motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> I'm giving no. you a shot. You didn't earn this shit. Right. <laughs> I'm so, like, I mean, I, like, he, he was just, like, he kind of made me feel like, 10, 11, what? I'm like, that's it, huh? Shit, like this year or like I mean, now I, I don't even keep count. I mean, it's been so long, I, I don't know where to start counting again. I don't know where I left off. I, have a... I mean, it, it might be under 20 for me. I honestly, I don't keep count anymore. Like, I just, I don't think that that's necessary. I mean, I'd like to see if I can get in order. Maybe I should. I don't really care. I mean, I, I don't think none of them, I don't even. Why does that matter? You know, I'd like to see what kind of profession I'm dealing with. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. That's it. I, I, but see, I, men hold women to a stigma. I know. I'm not that guy. I think it's great. Let's go. But that's also why I am where I am. Because I, t- I am great. Yes. Y- you don't hold women to that st- no, stigma. No. But a lot of guys. A lot do. of guys. Men are trash. Like, men are trash. Like, <laughs> I can't say it enough. Men are garbage. Let me ask you a question. Oh, shit. From a woman to a man. No, no, no. It's not like. You know, per like you know, not like a personal, personal question. You know, men always ask women wife qualifying questions. Do you cook? Do you do this? You know, all the wife qualifying questions. You know, how do you feel personally about men not knowing how to do any man shit these days? <laughs> you better shut your fucking mouth. If you, you, if you can't build a house and motherfucking change the oil, shut your bitch ass up and sign this receipt. Be quiet, okay? Be humble, sir. Humble, humble yourself. Because like, guess what I can't do? I can't do none of that shit. But guess what I can do? I got friends that can. <laughs> you can pay so baby, somebody. Baby, you want you want on the back porch? Not a problem. All right. Hey, make a phone call. You get here next week. I didn't do it. We in the house chilling. <laughs> we get a back porch fix for the Lolo. <laughs> <laughs> Winning. 
That's fine. I'm okay with knowing my strength. I might be out here trying to change the world, kill my goddamn self. No, I'm dead. You got life shield policy, young dick in the house. You might have like Ferrari and shit. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> like, no. I can't do shit by no people that can. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I, I I know what I can do. Have a good time. Make you smile. Things take trash out. Maybe kill but a bug. But do you two. expect? I mean, pers- no. I mean, personally, I ex- I can do all those things, right? Mm-hmm. But it really bothers me that men start asking me those questions. First questions. Like, it's not nothing. It's always those wife qualifying questions immediately. And yes, I can do all of those things. However, you can't do shit. And you aren't <laughs> offering me shit. <laughs> and so, like, that's why I'm asking, like, how do you feel about that? You know, personally, as a man, because you know, I don't know, I don't know how to feel about these kind of things. No, anymore. you feel like fuck him, bitch. What do you do? Right. Okay, if, if I got a what draw, are you bringing to the I table, got a draw motherfucker? Four, a draw two. What you got in that hand? Right. A two and a th- bitch. We ain't the same. Like I got a full house, and you've got a two and a three. How dare you, some bitch? <laughs> how do you get in this room, bitch? This table, security. You ain't supposed to be in this mm-hmm. goddamn room. It's a high roller table. Get your ass down there with them che- with them kids. It's grown folks room over here. We playing space to win. Ain't no real niggas up here. <laughs> they can get your books together. Yeah, no, fuck that. Man, I'm gonna be what I am. I like. I, yeah. I, I I don't know how if I should feel offended by this all the should. time. Yeah, that's that's a red flag. That no, fuck out of here. Ugh. Why would you ask me that? What can do anything? Hmm? What does that got to do anything? Like, what is? If you don't know, then we can learn together, or we can whatever. Like. Stop. That's not. That's not. A, that's not. That shouldn't be a disqualifier when you ain't cooking shit either. A uh, Jack Cousteau. That's 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 not. That's not a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, but they can't do that either. Too. Yeah. That's the problem. Like they don't Outta cook. Here. They don't clean. They don't do. They don't do anything. I think my they don't life, have a good job. Nothing. <laughs> but they're only... not bringing anything to the table. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and they want to ask me all of these white qualifying. You ain't got, got no money. You better shut your ass down, boy. Mm, you yeah. don't understand how often. <laughs> oh, it's trash. I'm glad I'm not a woman because it is ugly out there. It gets uglier the older you get and the better you get. It gets mm. uglier. It's trash up in here, up in these thirties. I saw mm. a meme. I posted. I thought it would get better, but oh no, 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 no. It does not. No, no it gets worse. No. Yeah, that return. Yeah, that shit is trash. I, I, saw, I had a meme that said, uh, "Dating at thirty, like going to a thrift store, trying to find the best item you can." Pretty much. <laughs> and I mean, a lot of people aren't married in their 30s. You know what I mean? So it's Especially not like. Not now. I don't even know what that no. means. Like, like, it's happy. not like a bunch of men are taken. You know what I mean? So it's not like everybody's married. But. It's just trash ass me. It's just, yeah. The world is a different place. Missing them fathers, what you get. Mm. I mean, or this, bad fathers. Uh, I mean, it's. I just, think I think a bad father is worse than a missing yes. father. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, a father who's creating a lot, like, of insecurity. It's way worse. I, yeah, you have a better chance of like meeting, like, someone in that in your life that might give you that lesson when you don't have one at all. Over like a motherfucker that's giving me all the wrong shit every day. I'm taking my chances of meeting the right person. Then, guaranteeing every day I'm getting some bullshit. Oh yeah, fuck that. I mean, I will have to. I have to say, like. Almost every real shit man I've I've met or been with has had a father. Damn. I I will say it like that they blame it on fatherless men, but it's almost always a guy with a father. I will I will say that. It's one hundred. It's always a guy with a I'm father a who's guy, made like him. Yeah. <laughs> it's always a guy a dad that's made him very insecure. Yeah, because he passed the insecurity on to his son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah ooh, we get to it. We get to it. We get into white man issues, white penises. <laughs> it's except, not just white. It's wh- not just white. I, I dated a, a black guy not that long ago who was super, more yeah, insecure than any guy I've ever dated, ever. Honestly. You had a dad too? Huh? Yes. Too? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. There was so much <laughs> passive aggressive behavior Ooh. over not answering texts right away. When I told him, my kid is high functioning autistic, and I'm constantly at appointments. And I mean, I was always like upfront with him about what yeah. I was doing. What, and I shouldn't have had to do that all the time. No, kind not constantly like that. And then finally, it got to the point where I was like, I'm not apologizing to you 
You said he said that to you. I said that. Oh yeah, fuck him. I was like, I'm not apologizing to you for no. being a mother. No, I don't know. What's that? What the fuck? I, How and, dare you? Why would you even ask her to even think that is a a, a question, a statement to come out of her mouth? Bitch, please. Oh, yeah. Yourself. Finally, I, I, I ended it like after th- two or three weeks. I was like, he Ooh. was the most insecure man I think Shit. I've ever dated, honestly. More than my ex-husband. I, I, nah, I feel some type of way. I'm uncomfortable. Mm. Bitch, I, I tried to sound for him. <laughs> shitty sound, guys. For real. For real. Oh, that's pretty disappointing, mm. loser. Uh, what would you tell you? What would you tell your younger self now? This is Podcast Poppy. Thanking you for listening to part one of this episode. Tune back in next week for the conclusion. Real conversations with real people about love, sex, and relationships, all fueled by cognac. Mm.